I'm Shalom Israel. I know it's a lot of issues. Geopolitics is going crazy right now. This Iran and U.S. issue. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of tensions right now. There's a meeting just that happened at the U.N. But um, it's going down. Everybody's waiting for another attack. Everybody's waiting for this. And I know I got to address these things. And I will. You know what I'm saying? I will. But I just watched the BET Awards last night. I wanted to talk about it right after I was done watching it. It was like four hours long. I don't know how long it was. And take note, I don't have, I got premium cable here at this little hotel. I'm watching The Watchmen. Um, okay. <laughs> We're all stuck here. Um, the day of Watchmen is there. Then shall be your perplexity, devils, and the two thirds. I only got premium cable here. But what's going on is, you know what I mean? They end up showing, I was watching ridiculousness. You know what I'm saying? I like to watch the foolishness that white people do. And see, this is why this, yeah, this is why. Right here. Uh, but they cut Rob Deerdick off, okay? And what they did is threw the BET Awards on MTV. Strange. That was the first weird thing about it. I was like, you know what? Let me, I haven't seen the BET Awards in a long time because I don't have cable. Like I said, the trouble, I didn't have cable. This is my first time watching cable in about five years. So when I start, start talking about certain issues, that I didn't see before. I didn't watch the news, and I see certain stuff that goes on YouTube, but I didn't see, you know, cable how they um, portray my people, man. And it really it hurt my spirit to watch the BET Awards. It hurt my spirit, man. All I seen was just it's just just Eve. This is a show for Eve. This is Eve's world. This is Eve. This is what the serpent wants Eve to be in the front. Jake, you sit in the back, all that masculinity, all that. Nah, man, I wanted to see the Wu Tang just come out of nowhere. I see they let Method Man during Mary J's performance. That was horrible too. Um, they let him out as soon as he was done his first. All right, boom, I'm out. It was just like nah. But the realest event that happened at the damn BET Awards was uh, a performance by an artist named Her, which was good. The Lord is coming. See, they let Eve say it. Tell you Eve, Eve, Eve. You got Eve being a super cop in the commercials and Eve. It was just, man, I don't know. The Cardi B, this foolishness. I don't look at it. I ain't thinking nobody ever get it. Ah. I did, like, if it's you know, your privacy, they get, like, it's just too much. Like, it's too much foolishness. And all of the, all I can think of was Hosea 4 and 6, man. Hosea 4 and 6. My, my people are destroyed because of the lack of knowledge. Okay? My people are foolish. Scottish children that will not hear the law. Wise to do evil. But to do good, they have no knowledge. They stupid. This is what the Most High is talking about, my own people. And I'm looking like this is the new millennium menstrual show. I'm like, is this 2019 or 1819? What the hell is this? But yeah, but one of the real, like I said, one of the realest moments in there, you know what I'm saying, was when King Saul, I mean, uh, 50 Cent, he got on, you know what I'm saying? See what I did there? He got on and he said, um, talking to Regina Hall thing. But, you know, you know, he's been going around collecting money. This was the masculine, this, this is what I'm talking about. This is, he's letting you know it's a subliminal shot is what he's doing. He's like, I'm going to let you know, I'm going to need my money today, yo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know you're doing the BT Awards. That was the realest moment, dog. That was real talk right there. Because he's trying to put it in y'all spirit, nigga. Because I know who 50 Cent is reincarnated. That's, that's King Saul. That's the first king of Israel, whether you know it or not. I know it's too many signs. I can go through it all day. But just take my word on it. I know it. But he's playing the part of God. He's trying to tell y'all niggas, yo, this is fun right now. You're doing the BT where you're doing all your shit. But y'all about to pay for this, man. Y'all got to pay. And another thing that pissed me off was Kirk Franklin's on the God Best Gospel Award. I watched the whole thing. It, it was I, I had to stomach my way through it, but I got through it. Because this was horrible, man. And it, it's crazy. It, brought, it broke my spirit. It hurt my spirit, man. It hurt my soul to see my people go through this, man. And this is this is what the, the devil has done a number on my people. But Kirk Franklin was in the gospel, right? Two times for the nominee. But he got beat by Snoop Dogg. I said Snoop Dogg murder was the case for y'all. And he won the best gospel album. This is the foolishness. And I call it this is this is coonification. This is this will make you into a coon. If you got a weak mind, you know what I'm saying? The wonder of, of concupiscence does undermine the simple mind. Okay? And the bewitching of naughtiness. That's all I see on these screens. This screen, these screens, the bewitching of naughtiness, man, does obscure those things that are honest. So if you start to see these things over and over and over again, especially being an impressionable young child or something, and you see a uh, commercial it talking about, what is the name of the pill? Uh, Bictervia. But if you take this pill, you won't get AIDS if you have a... What the f*** is going... And then advertising black people like we the ones that's out here spreading AIDS. Come on, man. This is bullshit. This is foolishness, man. And my people, we accept too much. We accept too much foolishness. And this is what happens over years. You let the Eve, you let Eve be in front. 
okay? You let the black woman as God crap. And this is what the problem is. Emotional ass women. Regina Hall didn't win. She lost to Regina King. And she was like, nah, I don't want to do this. Let that bitch come down. Let that, 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 that. And she's showing you. That's how he be acting. And that's why there's... There's... Atlanta. There's a daggone bunch of soft ass niggas. But it's everywhere. The young thug niggas. They, they thugs and they gay at the same time. Thugalicious. They got a gun talking about, I, I bitch, I, I, I. and they, they'll shoot you. They'll take your life, but they soft. They soft as hell. That from, I'm going to be like my grandmama, and my mama taught me to be like this. Because ain't no daddy around, or he in jail, or he just left. It's just, it's sad, man. And this is exactly what Esau wants. He laughing at this shit for now. Then they saw the Central Park Five. And it's like, that's the only time y'all saw black masculinity in these brothers single five. They, they, you can see it on them. Like, they, yes, okay, and then we gonna say this. And then, move. Lights out. It was like, man, this is sad. And then they play, um, Her. That was a good song. Uh, the Lord is coming. And, and they'll let Eve say it. They'll let Eve get up and say what she got. They let Lauren Hill say what she wanted to say for a while about us being Israelites and this and that. But you see what they did to her. You know what I'm saying? You see. No black consciousness, no black masculinity. No, your, mas your toxic masculinity is offending me. How about no, your toxic femininity is making you the softest we've ever been, the weakest that we've ever been. And you have to deal with the most horrible, horrendous time to ever come to the planet is coming to y'all. But y'all soft is an emotional and weak as hell. No, the Lord is not pleased with any of this foolishness. Oh, I want to thank God he ain't hearing that bullshit. He is not hearing you. He does not hear your prayer is an abomination. You're not keeping the commandments. You Kirk Frank talking, we love you. I just want to love you. You know you don't. You love that white man. And foolishness is set in high regard in these last days. It is foolish. And I, what I said, yo, black people have become corny. Black people are corny now. The salt of the earth has lost its flavor. And Duke Ellington, from the times of that, the temptations, people had class. It just go back in the time. Cap Calloway. This is not how black people are to be represented. I had the black, uh, I had the black fat bitch. She was up there dancing. I thought she was gonna pull the chicken that we be frying. Um, Tastes so good, General Fried Chicken. I just thought it, it's just too much, man. This coonagery is coonography and coonification. And to end it all off, Tyler Perry. And, and he, I got all these businesses. I got the biggest studio. This is bigger than Hollywood studios. And all I had to do is put that dress on. When I put that dress on, my life changed. And I'm showing black kids, you can change your life. And he up there preaching. They like, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I'm like, man, this oh, go, oh, God, play. No, uh, no, Jesus, no. I just want to keep employing black women. And like, yo, what about black men, brother? What about your brother that look like you? I'm gonna keep empowering the black me black woman so the black man is forced to take a back seat and then we all out of order and everybody grows up in dysfunction. The head, that's right, the head of the woman is the man, dog. And once you leave that, but the head of that man has to be Christ. And the head of Christ is, of course, the most high. Once you leave out of that order, you are gonna grow up in dysfunction. You are gonna grow up off and you're gonna raise kids to do the same damn thing. And another thing that was very disturbing about the BET Awards that I just watched was the Nipsey Hussle. And you see his mom, she went on for about the ballistics of the shooting and how the cops did this and the ambulance person said that. And it was very weird. It was very weird how she hasn't really dealt with it, but telling you his spirit is gone and I dealt with it. Is gone. But now nah, you have it. And then the rift between um, Nipsey Hussle's father and her, because Nipsey Hussle's father, we already know, he, he talks like, yo, yo, cannot put the, you put it down. He talked like Habib. He talked like the niggas that run this place. He's like one of them Africans. You know what I'm saying? But he talked like an Elamite or something. You know what I'm saying? But the, the rift between them was like, they were arguing. It, it seemed like it just was it was weird. It seemed like she blaming him for the death or something. You never know. These heathens, that's what they do. Point is, somebody got to be the two-thirds. Somebody got to be the two-thirds. It got to go. Yeah, I know the world about to blow up. You know what I'm saying? I know it's all going down. But this is the point. You have to see why, yo. This is unsalvageable. And you need to see this, man. My people is lost. Israel, keep God's laws and live. Otherwise, die. The beginning is near.